PRX are the most undisciplined team at Champions and they need an IGL. I say this knowing that this is their whole identity, right? They like being W gaming and stuff, but I think it's possible to be aggressive while still being coordinated. A lot of the Chinese teams perform better than expected. And it's because when these Chinese teams say, hey, you know, I want to fight here. The whole team immediately is like, okay, let's do it together. Whereas a lot of times what I'm seeing on PRX is we're taking solo fights in order to try to even out disadvantages or try to gain disadvantages and snowball. And because teams are better at overcoming mechanical differences with good trading, it doesn't happen anymore. From a consistency standpoint, you cannot be confident that you're going to win, you know, 60% of your fights even at this level at this point. I still think there's a world in which this kind of playstyle works, but they need to be more disciplined. And so we're going to look at this round right here. And we're going to have PRX start with some early A pressure. And G2 does not contest because they're playing for Odin spam. And so we get the PRX knife that forces Trent out of tree. They open door and Jonah P's wall comes up to deter PRX from pushing through. You're going to see in a bit that Trent is going to be proactive and dog just to re-clear into tree. And that gives them a pretty educated idea as to what PRX wants to do because they are going to end up finishing C. And we also have this uh, kill retard by Leaf aggressively on the C line, so they also know how to time. And they pop KO ult, ready to execute. And now, this is why I say PRX needs an IGL, because right now, Mind Freak has one smoke, as we can see here, and they want to exit onto C. They've already popped the KO ult. They have to decide whether or not they want to smoke upper or smoke waterfall. Now, I think it's probably better to be smoking upper here because you have a better chance of getting one of the ideal plants, which would be either here, right, or here. This is a very meta one that teams are throwing now. And the idea with the KO is you're saying, look, you guys, like, we're just trying to get you guys off site, right? We don't want you guys on site retaking fast. You guys just need to get off site because you have no ability to help your teammates on site. And so you would think PRX would throw one of these two smokes, but no, they throw a smoke here. This is like a lurk smoke if you want to walk up C. And it essentially is surrendering so much space that PRX should be getting for free, even only even though they only have one smoke. They are surrendering so much space on site that it makes their post plant so uncomfortable. These guys, I guess they don't trust their calling enough because they 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 operate as a hive mind and no one really thinks about the map on like a macro level. They don't trust their calling enough to feel confident enough in thinking, okay, G2 are not going to stack like a lot of numbers here, right? And like, they're not going to back them and get overwhelmed. I think the smoke that they end up throwing ends up like encouraging G2 to stay on site. And we're going to watch how the round just devolves because of that. So here comes the exec. And now we see the mind freak smoke. Normally, it's a great lurk smoke because it allows you to walk up without being seen from waterfall, which is like the more common line. But we're going to see immediately that they have issues with upper because of the smoke. G2 feels confident enough to flood out and help Jonah P, who can just stay on site and chill in the smoke. They get two kills, two for one on upper, and now it is a 4v3. And PRX do manage to get the plant down, but then because of the smoke they threw... Look where all the PRX players are playing. They have zero space on the site and it's not even planned for them. They're being shoehorned onto site because of the smoke. I feel like if they had put this upper smoke, it would still be up for a few more seconds. They could have looked into taking a fight on waterfall, right? And forced them back. And Jonah P would not have been in this position. And because of this position, Jonah P manages to get two. Here, Jonah P gets one, gets the second, and the round is over. You would think that like maybe if PRX had an IGL, or they were more disciplined and had like kind of an idea of what they wanted to do, they would be able to like pull these kind of rounds through. But it seems like everyone kind of just does their own thing. Mind Freak doesn't really have a direction. He doesn't really know what the team wants to do. I, I, nobody really knows what the team wants to do. Nobody knows what each other wants to do because no one's really communicating it. So they have no protocols. And then it ends up just looking really messy because nobody really is on the same page. This round is another example of just the total lack of coordination and discipline from PRX. They call for an A execute. And so they, they take their time, walk up. You know, once the smoke is out, G2 are essentially saying, look, we like surrender all the space. Like you guys can have it. And so the majority of G2 players start focusing on this choke point, which is fair. It is technically the only choke point that you need to worry about. What PRX should do in response is they should open door. They should open door, get the defenders off this angle and then execute because it goes back to the same like map theory, right? Now you have two lanes to enter onto the site as opposed to just this one. But we're going to see that PRX goes so quick that Devai, who is solo working through tree, is not even able to establish tree control before all of PRX is already running out. And so it ends up looking so disjointed. The spacing is horrible. If they had just waited five seconds, we could have taken tree control and then hit onto site and it would have been a way more successful hit. But because of this dog that transcends, 
they for some reason just feel the need to immediately burst and go. Such a clear and blatant example of the total lack of discipline that they have. Also, I might add, because of how fast they decided to burst, like this is this is a snap exec, right? Off of no information. Because of how fast it happened, Mind Freak does not even have his smoke ready for upper. So G2 just floods out. And this is a pattern that you see in a lot of PRX rounds where they're executing without their smokes being ready. I think in a more disciplined and structured team, they would be saying, okay, Mind Freak, do you have smokes ready? You know, is everybody ready to exec? Okay, yes, let's go. They're missing that pause where they check to make sure everyone's ready and they just act on their first base instinct. Like if they keep playing like this, they're not going to fucking win anything because I do think PRX have a very interesting play style. I just think that it doesn't work as well anymore and you need to have more discipline. And I think a lot of the Chinese teams are showing that you can still play this way. You just need to be more disciplined. Not only are they not disciplined on attack, they're also really undisciplined on their retakes. Okay, we're going to look at this round where G2 transitioned into a C-Execute and PRX are forced to play retake. As Mind Freak hears the dog, backs up, and now he smokes the choke. And G2 is like, okay, they're gonna execute past it. Honestly, this smoke, you know, I guess technically he could have been, you know, throwing one like this, right? Like the one that we saw G2 throw earlier. Because when you hear people like stomping up, it's not actually beneficial to smoke the choke if you're not planning on holding the site because they're already gonna dump a lot of util to get through the choke. It's better to just throw a smoke on site. You wanna deny them space to make it more uncomfortable for them in the post plant. Luckily, G2 do not try to take a lot of advanced space because they know PRX likes the flood. But we're going to see that the PRX retake is actually really, really bad. And we're going to see Mind Freak throw the most brain dead smoke I've ever seen. It doesn't really make sense to be throwing the smoke. He's going to throw the smoke right here. And you're thinking, okay, like, what does it accomplish? We know where they planted. They planted in this general area. Like, we know it's not planted for mound. But instead of smoking this off, because we hear the players out here, instead of smoking like C off now on the retake, we're going to smoke here and just create like 90 other angles for all the G2 players to be playing. And with these like 90 other angles, G2 are going to win the, win the round. G2 still has this line and they can go for tags and stuff as this literally just like funnels PRX towards pathing this way during the retake. And it's just like, why would we throw that smoke? It makes no sense. Just smoke the choke point at this point. Smoke comes through. You know, all through and they, and they get through to the choke because they thought g2 was holding it but now because of the smoke they're so screwed jink jumps out here and look where he's exposed to he's exposed to all the people on c they just want to shoot at him and get to shoot at him for free all that smoke did the, the neon wall had the same effect all that smoke did is just create more angles for him to worry about instead of you know being able to remove one of the angles they have to worry about the trades come through and it's just horrible. Like, I think G I think G2 during these retakes are probably thinking, wow, like, they're literally throwing smokes that are helping us. Because G2 ended up throwing a smoke here for the same reason, right? They want to try to funnel everybody into the same choke point, right? They want to still establish control, so they add a smoke on site to disrupt retakers because they probably used a lot of util to get out of the choke point in the first place. And so you're creating a second one with the smoke. PRX... Like they, they gotta, they gotta, they gotta do something to address this. I think it's too late. I don't think they're going to be able to do a deep run at this point. I would like to see them because I do like how they play generally. I like, I like the idea, right? It's entertaining to watch them, but there needs to be a level of tactile depth that they do not have at the moment. And unfortunately, I think that's going to come back to bite them in the butt and they probably will have to rebuild next season and probably look for an IGL. So yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.